The news continues in Central Africa, where reactions have continued to trail the declaration of a presidential bid by uh, Democratic Republic of Congo's Nobel Peace Prize winning gynecologist Dennis Makwege in the December elections. Makwege, who won the award in 2018 for his nearly two decade campaign against sexual violence, made the announcement to a jubilant crowd of supporters at the conference center in the Congo's capital, Kinshasa. Now, some of his supporters who spoke to journalists in the country's capital, Kinshasa, said they are very excited over the declaration. Makwege had previously denounced Congo's culture of impunity towards war crimes and crimes against humanity, recorded by the United Nations. He survived an assassination attempt in 2012. To speak more on this, uh, we are joined by Benedict Kumbi, uh, Njoko, of course, spokesperson of uh, Likambo Ya Mabele. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, did uh, Dr. Makwege's presidential bid uh, declaration come as a surprise? Or is this something that has been, you know, long expected? Well, I, um, I would say that this is really the result of a long process, meaning that a lot of Congolese people have been asking Dr. Mukwege uh, to run for presidency, but um, it took quite a long time to do so. And of course, uh, what may be helping uh, make that decision is that a group of women in Congo, Congolese women, uh, they reached out to him and uh, they, they, they sold, uh, sold, they sold whatever they had. They gave like one dollar but to, to have the money for the campaign. And I think that was so moving and or it also met maybe um, his decision to run for the for presidency. So it's a result of a long process and we, we, we appreciate um, this, this move. All right, now, what does this uh, particular bid mean to you and the other citizens of DR Congo, you know, as a country? Yeah, well, I personally have been working uh, with Dr. Mukwege, uh, and uh, of course, this, it, this is really a pleasure to see him running for presidency. And I think that for Congolese people and for Congo, uh, this is good news. Good news, why? Because this is... Um, a man that always, always fighted for justice. And that, and we have now a person who is not afraid, for instance, to talk about uh, random aggression. He's not, uh, he's not afraid to talk about the fact that uh, the uh, uh, Congolese women have been tortured with rape and that this, this is about millions of women. And uh, so this is really good news in terms of justice, but it's also good news because uh, we hope uh, that uh, this person will really uh, lead Congo to uh, a better place and that uh, the surrounding countries that are addressing the, our country will maybe step back and maybe think about what they're doing and uh, stop uh, this nonsense that has been going on for, for far too long. Now, let's talk about his chances at the polls. I mean, we know that he's running against the incumbent uh, who, of course, uh, is vastly experienced and, of course, uh, has quite a lot of connections when it comes to the political space. Um, uh, what are Makwege's chances at the polls uh, come the elections? Well, I think that it will be difficult for Mr. Chisekedi. I mean, just yesterday, uh, there was a video made by uh, General Numbi, who was Kabila's general. And he talked about the fact that uh, Mr. Chisekedi had cast a deal with Mr. Kabila in order uh, actually to, to, to uh, take power uh, where he never won those elections. And this is something that uh, we've been saying uh, all along. We knew perfectly that he was not a legitimate president. So this will be something very difficult for him. And of course, uh, there is, I mean, the situation of the country that doesn't speak for him as well because we have like 95% of uh, unemployed people uh, massacred are committed, uh, the, the people are, are dying from hunger. I mean, the situation of the country is really bad. He said that himself when he, he traveled to Brussels uh, some weeks ago. So I think that uh, it will be very difficult for Mr. Chisekeri uh, without uh, fraud to uh, stay in power. 
And I think that it's time the Congolese people are really decided to make a change. They, they are fed up of this government. They are fed up of politicians uh, casting deals in order to steal their vote. And they are also very much tired about the fact that Mr. Chisekedi has tribalized really uh, the politics, meaning that he has always appointed people from his ethnicity and against all the other Congolese people. And I would like to remind the viewers here in Congo, we have 450 tribes. And how come only Mr. Chisekedi's tribe are in power, uh, they, they're the appointed in very important position. And this is something that really, really upsets uh, the people in the Congo. And unfortunately, if he tries to go on like that with that same politics, uh, we might expect, you know, we might see really very, very uh, worrying uh, situation in the Congo. All right, thank you so much for your time. Benedicte Kumbi Njoka. Thank you so much for having me.